Oh, oh, look at this. This is unusual. This is unusual. Look, she's covered in gore. Are you gonna mate? Look at this. She's covered in gore underneath there. And I think that Alex's assertion that they may have killed another buffalo is a good one. But that's quite unusual to me how she managed to, or how she sort of sought him out there. Of course, we know when these lions move, when they're mating, it's almost always the male that initiates it. Completely different from the leopard, where she flings himself at an apparently unwilling male. And that little kind of conflict would have resulted in this with him just marking his territory, showing that he is the big boss, or trying to. And this is one of the Birmingham boys, of course. And it's amazing, you know, I'd love, for those of you who have got screenshots, or who do take screenshots, I think it would be very interesting for you to perhaps do a comparison of that Birmingham boy's mane compared with what it looked like last year. I think you'll find that the difference is pronounced. It's almost salon quality there, Vim. It's an, almost as good as your leave hair. Mm -hmm. Not quite, obviously, but... Yeah, it does need a bit of straightener, perhaps. Should we go around the other side there? Yeah, Dory, you make a very good point. They don't look very full. That is absolutely true. They don't look very full at all. And I... Definitely amber eyes. I've just got a new monitor, everybody, so I'm a bit... Yeah, it is definitely amber eyes. If I look at her with through my binoculars, I'm convinced of it, and especially this lioness who's coming over here. She's got the normal honey-colored eyes, also covered in blood. They could have killed something small last night, easily like an impala or perhaps a small nyala or something like that. She is very tired, obviously, everybody. It's been an exhausting night. 